Hi, I'm Jody. I'm 22 this year and I'm a true blue Singaporean girl. My hobbies are bouldering and playing football. I enrolled in MSBA this year in August after I graduated. And if everything goes well, I'll be graduating in 2023. Hi Jody, uh, I'm Jin Shen. I'm currently a senior analyst at the Singapore Tourism Board. I have 14 years of experience in market research and consumer insights. I applied for NUS MSBA as a part-time candidate back in 2019 and I started my MSBA journey in August 2020 uh, when the, at the start of the COVID pandemic. Jin Shong, after I graduate, I hope to find a job where I can work with data and use it to drive business decisions. Somewhere where I can apply and extend on the knowledge and technical skills I've learned in class. So, a position like a data scientist or analyst. Do you think that I'm on the right track? I think you're on the right track, Jody. In fact, COVID-19 has accelerated decades of digital transformation in two years. You will be equipped with hot technical skills that will make you uh, very employable in the marketplace. In fact, there is a reason why NUS MSBA is ranked the first in Asia in the latest QS Business Masters uh, ranking in business analytics. And my MSBA experience also gave me a lot of confidence in being able to work with data scientists. Uh, it gave me the ability to communicate much more effectively with them. And that confidence has given me a lot of new opportunities at work. And also with that newfound confidence, it also offered me a lot more time to spend with my family. In MSBA, I got to learn many different things in a short span of time. I really enjoy how there seems to be a greater emphasis on learning rather than just taking exams or chasing after stellar grades. I particularly like how I'm able to meet different people from different countries, backgrounds, as well as at different stages of life. This is something that I never got to do before. It's the same for me too, Jody. In fact, when I uh, started my MSBA journey, it took me quite a while to become a student once again. Uh, and I had to change my mindset a lot. Instead of just studying to get good grades, I, I found myself wanting to study because I was genuinely interested in the topics that were covered in the modules. I realized that doing that helped me release a lot of the school stress and because of that, I really enjoyed my time in MSBA a lot more. I also enjoyed the time I spent with my uh, fellow classmates who hailed from many different parts of the world. They were all really brilliant in their own right and being able to see firsthand what an international caliber of ambitious, smart and hardworking people, hardworking professionals were like uh, was very uh, awe-inspiring. The most memorable MSB experience was at the uh, capstone presentations. I remember I was with my daughter when they were announcing uh, the five most outstanding uh, capstone awards. And when they announced the first winner, my daughter turned and looked at me and said, Daddy, did you have a chance to actually win the competition? And I looked at her and told her very frankly, I'm up against very tough competitions. I, I know these uh, classmates and they were all really brilliant in their own right. Just about 10 seconds after I said that, I was announced as an, uh, one of the top five uh, most outstanding Capstone Awards. The smile on her face, the pride that she had, uh, was the most memorable experience uh, and I'm sure I'll remember it for a very long time. That's amazing, Jian Shen. I'm looking forward to my Capstone project as well. Before MSBA, I had chances to work with data and use data to explain trends both in my bachelor's and during some of my previous internships. I was intrigued in how data can be used and harnessed to tell stories, explain trends and drive decisions in many different industries. I wanted to pick up more technical and business skills surrounding this and hence picked MSBA. That's very true, Jody. I also wanted to be a better data storyteller and I realised that there were many more stories that I could tell with using data science techniques. I was also thinking about my longer term employability. I had probably, hopefully, 20 to 30 more years of ex working life ahead of me and I wanted to equip myself with hot marketable skills to at least keep my competition at bay for five years or so. Thanks for sharing, Jian Xiao. It has been inspiring listening to how NUS MSBA has impacted both your professional and personal life. I'm looking forward to my journey as well. Thank you, Jodi, and I wish you the very best on your MSBA journey.